Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, I've been seeing a lot of chat lately about acoustic guitar tone uh, from acoustic bodies, uh, brands, uh, what pickups should people install uh, to pedals and stuff, but I haven't seen very much talk about impulse responses. Uh, I know that the, the Fractal folk and the Helix and the Kemper guys know all about impulse responses, but I haven't seen very much talk about impulse responses as it pertains to acoustic guitars, uh, and it's a pretty powerful... Uh, tool to use uh, to shape your tone while maintaining that uh, convenience of being able to plug in a guitar directly into the sound system. So uh, I thought I'd just take some time to to demo some acoustic IRs that I have. Uh, enjoy. All right, cool. Let's uh, let's try some finger style, huh? So uh, let's try some flat picking, huh? Um, give it a little bit of ring here so you can hear the harmonic content of the strings. Uh, I'm sure. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a millennial, so uh, let's keep it in, in theme, on brand. So let me take this off and then let's play with some impulse responses, huh? So, uh, I have this impulse response thing here called NAD IR. Um, let's, let's listen to the whole thing, whole thing through uh, without any impulse responses. Sounds all right. I mean, it sounds like a piezo guitar. Uh, it's not the best pickup system in the world, but it, it it'll get you by. It'll do. Try out some IRs, some impulse responses. Oops. Uh, so this is a program I have called NAD IR. Uh, it's a free VST that hosts IRs. IRs are just these uh, sound files. I can go into the science of it if somebody cares. Uh, I haven't really found a very um, satisfactory explanation of what IRs are. But if you care about Fourier transforms, <laughs> Uh, and fast Fourier transforms and uh, impulses and what that means. Uh, I can I can talk about that if you want, but I get I'm pretty sure like three people would be interested in that. So, but uh, sure, let's try out uh, Breed Love. This is an A D, so that would be a Dreadnought. Uh, so it wouldn't be the perfect match to mine, uh, but it's the same builder, so they and same series as Atlas Dreadnought. Uh, so it probably has um, very similar bracing. Uh, and wood sourcing, so, although this is Sipele, no, Sitka, 
and rosewood. But let's try it. Helps to turn it on. Yeah, I mean, it's still not as good as an actual mic'd acoustic in a well-treated room in a studio, but I mean, when you're on a stage, obviously, that's, that's a lot harder to do, especially if you have a live band. This still has the convenience of a uh, piezo plug-in setup, so uh, that's the breed love, uh, and of course, you can play around with it in different ways. Uh, let's try something completely different. How about, uh, let's try this D42, sure. Sure. Um, sure. Let's try out. Uh, I don't know. Hummingbird. Sure. Gibson Hummingbird. Something completely different uh, than what we've been playing with. Um, see what this sounds like. I'll just start with it all. Sure, one more for fun. Uh, this is a Martin OM28. Uh, and with this matrix, it's like it was a Fishman matrix pickup that it was used to map the Fishman matrix sound to the OM28 impulse. Uh, I think if you wanted to match things like perfectly, you could do that. Um, but I mean, I've, I've had some pretty good, pretty good, uh, so, uh, pretty good <laughs> results from just. You know, messing around. This is this is a uh, guitar tone stuff. Try it. See if you like how it sounds. If you like how it sounds, use it. If you don't, try something else. It's not really all that difficult. So here's the OM.
I like that one. That sounds good. So that's that. Um, just want to encourage you guys to check out Impulse Responses. They're pretty nifty. Uh, there are a ton of free ones out there on the internet. There are also paid ones if you want. Um, if you want to cough up the money for it, um, and you can host them in, in your usual IR uh, IR host pedals. So the Moore Radar, for instance. Um, I think I think AMT has a has a. Yeah, they have an impulse response host too. There's a Joyo one, uh, and I think Nuex has an actual acoustic guitar preamp with an IR at the back end of it, uh, and I think it's called like the Virtua Air or something like that. Uh, and that one's pretty cool. That would probably be my pick if I uh, if I was in the market for one. But also, you could always just play around with it on your DAW on your uh, DAW. Uh, just pick the different. Uh, files from the internet and give it a shot. So yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think.